What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be doing a college football talk show. We're gonna be talking about college football. And yeah, a lot of SEC, cause I'm a Gator fan if you didn't know. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I'd say I'm a Gator fan. I mean like, you know, as you can tell, I like football by my pants. You can tell I play football. I mean, I'm getting ready. About to go to football practice. <clears throat> about 10 minutes so I'm making this right now real quick so anyway <clears throat> let's okay let's get into it before I have to leave for football practice so let's start off with let's just oh I don't know if you guys hear that but it's a very weird no noise anyway um let's get into looking at the rankings right now so let's go ahead and look at the rankings for college football. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, let me find something to stand. The um, camera, or my phone, I guess, on. Right now we're on Riley's iPad, right here. So now we're gonna look up. Let me look it up. Okay, college football rankings. Okay, I know Gators rank number five. Um, and so let's put the iPad here and I can stand up right here on the PlayStation. So anyway, <clears throat> okay, for week four. So let's get into it. Here, I'll put the, I'll put you guys right here. So you guys can see the rankings. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah. Okay, so let's start off with we're gonna have let's move this over like this a little bit. I need a bigger camera. Okay, we'll just get in. So we got Clemson number one, Alabama number two, Oklahoma. Um, then we go to Georgia. Okay, so Georgia is tied for number three with um, Oklahoma. Then we got LSU, Florida at number six. Oh wait, no, that's the coaches poll. Sorry, we're on the AP. So. We got Clemson number one, Alabama number two, Georgia number three, Georgia, I mean, Oklahoma number three, Georgia number four, Florida number five, LSU number six, Notre Dame number seven, Auburn number eight, Texas is tied for number eight with Auburn number 10 is Texas a oh, Gosh, almost fell right there. But okay, guys, so, look. so now let's get to, so let's look at, that's the top 10 right there. So now we're gonna go to now 11 North Carolina, 12 is Miami. I don't know if you guys can see, but it is this one on this side. Um, here, 12 is Miami. I'm just going to do this. Uh, I mean, 13 is UCF. 14, Cincinnati. 15 is Oklahoma State. 16, Tennessee. 17 is Miss Memphis. BYU is number 18, Louisiana Raging Cajuns. Well, number 19, Virginia Tech, 20. Pittsburgh, Army, Kentucky, Louisville, and at 25 is Marshall. So those are your top 25. Now we're going to go over my predictions for the top five at the end of the season. We're going to go with number five. Okay, this is going to be hard. But number five, I'm going to have to go with um, Alabama with Mac Jones. I'm not saying they're going to be bad, but I'm not saying they're going to be too good. But I think for sure in the top five, but I'm going with number five. Um, we're going to go with Florida at number four. And then at number three, let's see. Let me think about this. Number three, we're going to go with, I think I'm going to go with that number three, Ohio State. Because um, I actually was talking to my friend about this a couple of days ago. And I said Ohio State out. But now that I think about it, I mean, they're Ohio State, Justin Fields. And how could the college football playoff committee leave them out? That's what he said. And now that I thought about it, it's kind of true. <laughs> I, don't, I, just, I honestly don't see them leaving him leaving Ohio State out because they're Ohio State. Number, that was number three. Number two, Oklahoma, Spencer Rattler. Number one, Clemson, Trevor Lawrence. But anyway, let's get to the game. So in the playoffs, that means we'll have number four, Florida. Number one, Clemson. Actually, I'm gonna, okay, I'm going to take out Ohio State put them at four. Florida at three because Ohio State, they do only have eight games. That's where I was kind of like contemplating on it. I'm um, SEC, uh, and then we have Ohio State versus 
oh, Oklahoma. Ohio State wins that. I mean, Spencer Rattler is supposed to be good. I, I think he's going to be good. That's why I have them here. But Ohio State is going to win that. It's going to be a good game, I think. Wait, what am I doing? That's Ohio State. I mean, Ohio State and Clemson. And Ohio State, I think, is going to be – why did I see Spencer Rattler? I know, like, I think he will be good, but Trevor Lawrence will be. But, like, Ohio State, I think, will have to come back for revenge this year against Clemson. And then we got Gators in Oklahoma. I think this will be close. I mean, but as a Gator fan, going to have to go with Oklahoma. I think Oklahoma will win. Um, and Oklahoma will go to the championship against Ohio State, and then Ohio State will beat them with only the eight-game schedule. So, yeah, that's that. Now let's go to the upset of this year. I'm going to go with um, Ohio – I'm not Ohio State. I'm going to go with Georgia. I mean, um, they're expected to be good. Sorry to all your Georgia, you Georgia fans out there, but Georgia upset. Um, Jake Fromm's gone. And Jamie Newman, he opted out of the season. They, I really don't see anything there for them. But, yeah, and that's going to be in the, today's video. So I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really hope you enjoyed. We will see you next Tuesday and sometimes next week about the college football season. So peace out.